Hi everyone, uh, in this video what we're going to do is just run through how to make sure that you don't lose all your rankings when your website is transferred from um, one website to another, whether it's got the same domain name or not. Um, it, it can be a huge problem where people can lose masses amounts of, of traffic to their website if it's not done properly. So we're just going to run through a number of things that I would be doing to make sure that um, someone doesn't lose a whole lot of traffic to their website. So one of the first tools that you can use is this tool called Screaming Frog, which you can just download to your, to your computer for free. Um, and this will enable you to find um, a whole lot of URLs for your website. So when you've downloaded it, this is what it looks like. So if we just put um, the domain name in here and then get it to start, then it will start running through all of the pages on the website. And so sometimes it can take a little while to, to find all of them. So you'll see here now it's starting to bring up a whole load of URLs. Now, depending on how big your site is, this might only be 10 or 20 or it could be thousands. Um, so what you're probably in most cases looking for is, um, and obviously we don't want to have all these connection timeouts, so I'm not sure why it's, it's doing that. But ultimately what you want to do is find the URLs that are actually pages or categories on your website. So what it will usually also bring up sometimes is a whole lot of image files. And in a lot of cases you don't really want to redirect the image files. But you want to redirect all of the URLs here that are pages on your website to the equivalent page on the new site. So it's no good just taking this list and redirecting them all to the home page of your new site or just to the home page if it's the same domain because that can massively slow down your website and also to Google you're not redirecting like to like so it doesn't really mean anything and so you, you will certainly lose rankings that way as well. So you'll see how a lot of the content here that it's picking up is text and for this particular site, I've probably asked it not to index the images, which means that I'm not getting the image URLs. But when you download it, you'll, you'll probably find that um, if you then go to the links, if you then click on the links, that you will be able to, to see whether it's an actual page or whether it's, a, it's an image and you don't want it. So once you've got all of the pages, from, and, and this doesn't always bring you every page from your site, so another way to find uh, the URLs in your site is to go site colon and then your domain name. We don't want any spaces in between there. And we want it to bring back all the pages that are actually indexed in Google. So this is saying that there's 82 results that are indexed in Google. So you could basically you know, go through and, and copy all, all those you know, 82 URLs if you wanted to, it could be very time consuming. So what you might want to do instead is, is use the um, one that you've downloaded from Screaming Frog and then just check if you notice in these 82 results that there's some URLs that haven't been downloaded from Screaming Frog because I find that it's not 100% accurate at, at um, downloading them, but it's obviously faster than having to go through and copy and paste all of these into a spreadsheet because this is probably going to give you the most accurate list because it's all the pages that are indexed in Google. And if there's only 10, then that's obviously really easy. But if you've got thousands, um, then it can take a long time to go through them all. So th then you need to consider, you know, for someone who's got 10, it's really simple. Just redirect them all. If you've got you know, 5,000 pages on your site and 5,000 links, then obviously that can be incredibly time consuming to have to individually redirect all of those 5,000 links to the 5,000 new pages on the new site. So one of the ways that you can find out exactly which pages on the website 
that are getting traffic is to go into your Google Analytics and then what you want to do is you want to scroll down the left here you want to go under acquisition you want to go under keywords and then you want to go organic and when you get to organic you then want to sort it by the landing page so in some cases you might find that the landing page is written there See if I can make that bigger, doesn't look like it. Oh, is that working? Yeah, okay. So sometimes it will have landing page written there. Other times you'll have to go in here, you have to go under acquisition and you'll have to click on landing page. So this site isn't one that gets um, very much traffic because I haven't done very much work on it, but it just gives you an example here. You know, we could see that there was, um, you know, 82 pages that were indexed in Google um, and Screaming Frog brought back obviously lots and lots of pages as well. But if we go into Google Analytics and hopefully you've got Google Analytics set up, but if you go in there, you'll see that there's actually only, it's going here, one to 10 of 23. So there's actually only 23 pages on my website that have even had any traffic in the last month. So what I might then do is decide to go back and have a look at the whole last year or from February just to see what pages on my site are getting traffic and see how many. So it says 38 pages. So these are the URLs that are actually getting traffic. So if we had a look at this, you could say, therefore, that the most important page on this website is this product page here because it's had 70 people come to that page which is even more important than the home page which has only had 17 people so I'm absolutely going to make sure that I'm redirecting this particular URL to the exact equivalent page on the new site um, now look in some cases if you're building a site in WordPress and it's already been in WordPress then you may not need to redirect them because the URLs might be staying exactly the same. So you just want to check that, um, that it is going to be different. Obviously, if you have a new domain name, it's going to be a different URL. Um, and if you have been in a totally different system where the URL might be the same as this, but one of them's got .html on the end and one of them doesn't. So that's just a really good way to be able to find the most important pages on the site that are absolutely bringing you traffic and are the ones that you that you really absolutely need to redirect and the others I mean if they haven't brought you traffic in the last year then you could assume that it potentially doesn't really matter um, if that's if you've got hundreds and thousands and thousands but obviously um, there's other reasons why you might want to redirect them like people may land on pages because they're referred there from Facebook or from something else. So it depends on how much other work you've done on the site. So we could then go and have a look at all referral traffic. And if I then go and look at the landing, so this is the referral traffic, I've clicked over here to the left, and then go again to the landing page. Then I can see that obviously the home page had the most referral traffic. But there's these other pages here as well that have had referral traffic that may not have had organic traffic. So we want to make sure um, that those ones are being redirected as well. And the other option, of course, is that you could go and have a look under all traffic. And again, we want to go and look at the, at the landing page. And then this will show that I've got 109 pages. That have had traffic to them. From various means. So for me personally, I would absolutely go and redirect those 109 pages. Um, and if it was my site, I would actually be redirecting every single page. Um, that was on there that had an equivalent page on the new site. If you've got pages on your old site 
where you haven't created an equivalent page on the new site because it's something that you no longer uh, want to be ranked, that be found for any more old services, old products, then there's absolutely no need to redirect those. It's okay to have error pages for products and services that you no longer provide, like Google expects that you're going to have some error pages on your site. But the ones that we really want to redirect are the ones where you're getting traffic. So if it's an old product or service where um, you weren't, where you're not, where you're getting loads of traffic, then you could potentially redirect it to somebody else's site who provides that kind of service. So I've done that before. Um, I used to do some website design and uh, I had a page on my site that got a lot of traffic, but I no longer did website design anymore and so therefore I redirected that page to somebody else's website uh, so that they would actually get that traffic because I didn't want to provide that service anymore. So that's another option there as well. Um, so once you've discovered all these URLs, then you actually need to redirect them one to one. So depending on how your system works, you may need to get your web developer to do it. You might need to send them an Excel spreadsheet that has the old URL and the new URL. Obviously, if you are a web developer, then um, depending on how your site is, is set up, you might be able to do it in a CSV file um, somehow and upload it to the site. Uh, I don't know because I don't really know th that side of it. I'm very fully familiar with WordPress. So in WordPress, I use some kind of redirection plugin where I get to put in um, the old URL and the new URL. So just say, um, for instance, that I was you know, changing this to a new site. So this one here is my old new URL. And then my, my new URL might be, um, who knows? Um, and then it might have the same thing there. So I'm redirecting the old one to the new one for each and every URL on the site. So I, just, I can't express that enough, how important it is to not redirect every page on the site to um, the home page or to redirect lots of pages to one single page. You just want a one for one redirection. If you don't want um, to continue the service, like I said, then don't use it. Then once the site has gone live, obviously you want to check that these redirections work. Um, so the good thing about this particular plugin is that it tells you over here how many hits you've had, so how many people have actually um, gone through from this old link to the new link. Uh, otherwise, if it's a, a spreadsheet, then obviously you could just go through and click on the URLs and make sure that the old ones are actually now going to the new ones. And then what you'll find afterwards is if you haven't um, set them all up properly, or, you know, obviously there's ones that you might not want to redirect, but you need to then go into Webmaster Tools. So set up Webmaster Tools for your site. And then what you need to do is go and have a look at the crawl errors. And, you know, in this particular case for this site, we've got um, one crawl error, which was some kind of 404 page that I tried to create. So I don't really care about that. I don't really want to redirect that one so I can mark it as fixed. But what it will tell me is if I have a whole load of URLs in here that are now returning 404 errors, which then gives me the opportunity to go back into Google Analytics and search in here to see if that's a URL that actually brings some traffic. So I hope that gives you a really good idea of all the things that you uh, or, or certain ways that you can go about making sure you don't lose any traffic to your website. Uh, if um, you have any questions, then um, please do post something after the video. And um, if you are interested in SEO training for small business, then I have a, an online SEO course for small business where you can uh, learn to do SEO for your website yourself. Uh, 
I also have uh, this particular YouTube channel which has a whole load of free videos which is the same channel that this video is on uh, around SEO and, and WordPress. So I hope that's helpful and uh, let me know if you've got any questions. Thanks, bye.